Hi there, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect NA10 and Notion so that you can create AI agents, AI chatbots and automations that can read and manage all of your Notion data. You'll be able to read, create, edit and delete any information in Notion all through NA10. So let's have a look at it. So here we are within NA10 and here you can see the agent. It is in a chat interface. So we're going to be speaking to it and you can see that we have a number of tools here. One of them is a tool that's provided for us with Notion and for a few reasons, which we'll dig into later. Uh, the other three we've had to create ourselves for uh, adding a task, for changing a task and archiving a task. So in this example, I'm going to be using this in the context that we have a to do page of things to do within Notion. You can see here some of them are personal, some of them work. Um, and we're going to be interacting with this database within Notion through NA10. So let's have a look at it. So I'm going to open up the chat and say, um, what is the most important thing for me to be working on next? And you can see the agent's going to fire. It's going to go and it's going to get all the tasks. And then once it's got the task, it's going to form an answer. And the answer is uh, the most important task for you to work on next is to plan the next sprint and set goals. This is work. You can see priority high and deadline 17th. So what it's done is it's gone and had a look at this. It's found the ones with high priority and it's found the one with uh, the nearest deadline. And you can see that I'm not programming it to say you've got to look at priority first and then look at deadline. Um, it's doing this all naturally with the intelligence of the AI agent. Okay, let's say I want to add a new task. So let's say um, add a new task for me called run payroll with a deadline of the 25th, oops, 25th of April. So we're going to send that off. It's going to go and it's going to fire the add task uh, tool that we've created in Notion, which we'll go through in just a second. And it says, I've created a new task for you. We can go over to Notion and we can see here it is, run payroll at the top. So we haven't given it a priority and we haven't said what it is. However, it's interpreted that it's work related and it's just set a medium priority and you can see it's given it on that day. But let's say we want to change the date. So we're going to go in and say, uh, actually change the date of uh, running payroll to the 30th of April. So it's going to go and it's going to fire change task in Notion. And again, if we go over to Notion, we'll be able to see that that payroll item is now on the 30th of April, which is great. Okay, let's say that we want to delete this one here, which is a code review. Um, so I'm gonna go in here and say, uh, delete the item of code review from my list. Send that over and it's gonna run this archive task within Notion. And we're gonna see um, that it's going to delete that task. If we check it, we can see that task is no longer there. And lastly, and what's really interesting is we can ask it to do or to get to interpret the data. So we can say, um, what is the next thing I should do for the tasks in my personal life? So you can use it to have all your tasks in there and then use the intelligence to prioritize and say, what should I do next? And it says uh, shopping, this is high priority and the deadline is the closest. So that is the next thing you should do. Okay, so here, hopefully you can see, this is a good overview of uh, what we can do within Notion. This is only using the database uh, pages. However, you can connect with anything within Notion. So let's have a look at how you actually set this one up. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to set up a connection within Notion so that we can uh, connect to Notion from NA10. So to do that, we're going to go over to Notion. Okay, so because I want to connect to a database, I'm going to open up this database in full screen mode. And then I'm going to go over to the right hand side, go on the three dots and go connections. Now you can see I've already got it connected, but what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to scroll down and you'll probably see no active connections. If you click on manage connections, it's going to bring up this pop up and then you'll want to click on develop or manage integrations. So click on that and that's going to bring you to some of the options. And you can see here, I've got a few integrations set up but uh, you want to click on new integration. You can call it whatever you want. Um, test integration, workspace, you can connect it with your workspace, make it internal, logo if you want to, I'm not going to. Um, let me have a look at the settings. So the, the settings are going to be um, read capabilities, update, insert. You can make it read and write comments if you want to. I'm gonna leave it as blank. And once you're here, you'll see your internal integration secret, which is essentially your API key. You're gonna show this and you're gonna copy this. I'm gonna delete this after the video, so uh, it's not gonna work after this video. Um, and what you want to do is come back over to Notion and you will want to uh, create a Notion node. So either as a tool or you can go in here and go Notion 
and just select anyone, doesn't really matter. And in the credentials to connect with, you want to go create new credential. And then this is where you will paste in that key and you will save it and you can give it a name and that will be the connection that you're going to use. I've already got some of these connections, so I won't need to do this. So I'm gonna close this, but then you will see those credentials here. So you can see I've got the test one and I've got my actual live one as well. And lastly, what you'll need to do is actually go back to this page here after you've created the connection and make sure that you do actually have that connection that you just created um, assigned to this database or to this page. By default, when you're creating it, it won't get assigned. You'll have to go back to the page and assign it. So once you've got that set up, you should be connected to Notion from NA10. And this is where we can uh, set up any automation that we want. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through what I've created here. So Notion do have some nodes within NA10, which you can use as tools. However, you cannot pass in information um, via AI into them, unfortunately, which is why you can see the only tool that we're using from Notion is the get function. So getting all the information within the database because we're just returning everything. Everything else, such as adding, changing, or archiving, you're having to pass in information, um, or in fact, you're not on the archive one, but there is no tool to delete uh, a Notion a database page at the moment. Maybe in the future, these will be added, but for now, they are not here. Now's a good time to mention that things do change with AI, things do change with NA10. If you want to stay up to date with everything to do with AI, especially in relation to business, then I have a free community, which is linked down below, where you can find links to all of these automations. So you can download this automation for free and drag and drop and use it straight away and connect with Notion. You can see a load of other resources as well. It's down below if you want to check it out. So let's have a look and see what we're doing on each one of these. So you can see that on Add Task, we are going to be running this tool. And this tool essentially, uh, gathers the information. And the great thing here, and why we're using these tools, is that on these tools here, we can define any of these properties with AI, which is what we want, because uh, the whole point here is creating an AI agent which can interact with our database without us having to tell it exactly what to do. However, if we use a node from Notion, let's just uh, find one very quickly. Uh, Notion, and let's say we want to create a database page um, from this one, you can see here, we can make the title uh, from AI, which is great. But if we try and find a property, um, we can see that when it loads, you can see here that we can't make AI choose which one. So instead, what we're having to do is create our own tool where we can pass in a figure for, in this case, priority. And then it will, um, let's have a look at priority. So where's priority? Here it is. So this will be decided by AI. And then what it's going to do is uh, we'll come back to the date and time in a minute. It's going to essentially bring that through, put it into a field. Then it will use the Notion node to create a database page within our database. And the title and the priority and the uh, work or personal is going to be passed through just from whatever we've got AI to feed into this tool. Now let's have a look at the date. The date is a little bit different because for some reason at the moment, um, you cannot make a property of a tool to be date. I'm sure it's coming in the future, but you can't for now. So what we have to do for date is make it any type. And then we have to take that date and format it in a certain way that Notion wants it to be. And then what we have to do is see if that date is uh, the 1st of January, 1970. And then the reason for this is that a little thing with NA10 is that if you pass in an empty date into this node here, it's gonna by default return um, the 1st of January, 1970. So we want to check to see if it is the 1st of January, 1970. And if it is, we want to essentially return a blank date. So the formatted date is blank. Otherwise, we're just passing through all the values. And the only reason that we're doing this here is that we want to use AI to populate these. And that's not possible at the moment with the Notion tools that come with you know, the Notion integration for NA10. So let's get rid of that. And we're essentially doing the same thing with changing a task with a Notion and archiving a task. So let me show you what's happening there. So in the change task, again, we've, we've got the parameters of priority, work or personal, title, deadline, and ID. And if we go to update, so this is the tool for updating, and you can see it's essentially the same. We are passing through that information, but the only difference being that we're using the update node within Notion. And you can see we are updating it by the ID, which we're passing through. That's one of the fields that we're passing into this tool. And it's essentially the same that we are uh, using this information here as well. And this is the same for the delete or the archive function as well. Although we don't need to pass through any of the information because we don't need it, right? We're deleting or archiving the database page. Um, however, we again do not have this by default within NA10. If we quickly create a, a Notion tool and have a look and go database page, we can see we do not have an operation for archive or delete. So that's why we had to create our own and then call it 
as a tool. And the only other things within this workflow is you can see I am using Open Router to connect to a language model. I'm using GPT-40 Mini, but essentially anything works here. You probably don't want to be using the cheapest model because to get some of the functionality like uh, give me a priority or what's the next thing I should be working on, you do need a little bit of intelligence. However, you don't need to be using the most powerful and most expensive models for this. And then so we can have a little bit of a conversation we're using the simple memory with a context length of 10. However, you can increase this if you want to have more of a conversation with it, or you can decrease it if you're going to be using it a lot and you want to make it more cost efficient. So there we go. This has been a walkthrough of how you can connect NA10 and Notion and how you can manage, how you can read, write, edit, delete any information that's on Notion through NA10. And so how you can create AI agents, AI automations, chatbots um, that connect to Notion with NA10. If you want this exact automation and all the files, so you can just uh, download them, import them into NA10 and get running them straight away, then I will put that in the community, which is linked down below. So you can go and check that out for free. If you have any questions, that is also a great place to answer them. And I can get back to you on any questions that you may have on this and about implementing this within your business or within a client's business. So that's it for today. I hope you've liked this video. Please do give it a like if you have and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.